It's my great pleasure to introduce Director Stuart Gordon. <laughs> Wonderful to be back. You know, I, I started coming to this fast festival a long time ago. Just to give you an idea how long ago, the first time I was here, I met H.P. Lovecraft. <laughs> and um, anyway, um, no, this is, this is the greatest festival. And this is where I always, every time I come here, I learn something new about Lovecraft. And um, the film we're going to be showing is Dagon. And, um, I should tell you a couple of things. First of all, it's a true story. <laughs> it's, it really is. Um, the thing about you know uh, Dagon is that Dagon is a real god. Uh, you know, it's not something that Lovecraft made up. Dagon um, is actually he appears in the Bible, and you know, in the Ten Commandments it says, "Thou shalt have no other gods before me," which I always thought was interesting because it admits that there are other gods, yeah. and. Um, and Dagon is one of those other gods. And he was the god of the Philistines. And he was a sea god, which makes very little sense since the Philistines were desert people. But how that happened, I'm not certain. But the uh, worshipers of Dagon were into human sacrifice. And uh, as a matter of fact, what they used to do was they used to kill the firstborn son and bury him under the uh, sort of the, the welcome mat of their house for good luck. <laughs> this is true. And um, when, uh, when Christianity started, you know, they uh, decided, you know, Christianity, unlike Judaism, is a very inclusive religion. So everybody's welcome. You know, that's why we've got Santa Claus and Christmas trees and we let Druids in and so forth. <laughs> and, um, but they also let the Dagon worshipers in as well. And that's why uh, the Catholic Church has the uh, fish on Friday, because they, <laughs> this is all true. And the, um, and the mitre, as, uh, as the reverend is wearing here, comes also from the Dagon worshipers, because what it is, is actually the open mouth of a fish. And uh, so that, you know, they, when, when they were uh, welcoming the Dagon people, and they said, you know, the Dagon people were saying, do you wear those, you know, the fish hats? They said, sure, of course we do, of course. <laughs> so um, that's, that's where that all comes from. And so the, in a sense, Dagon is still alive and well and with us, and uh, watch out. Uh, so um, I hope you enjoy the film. This was a film that took 15 years to get made. Uh, it was originally supposed to be the movie that was gonna follow Reanimator. But when we told the uh, head of the studio that it was about people turning into fish, he said, come on, no, no, that's not, that's ridiculous. And uh, he said, if you make it about werewolves, we'll do the movie. But I always thought that this, this is actually my favorite, this and The Shadow Over Innsmouth, uh, my favorite Lovecraft stories. And so we had this, we had to make it about, as, as Lovecraft imagined it, about a culture who are transforming, it's sort of an evolution in reverse. So um, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back afterwards to answer any questions you may have. I'm sure you'll have plenty. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stuart. 